We can now start gluing up the plywood parts. Um, each of these big long pieces of plywood is a single leg and we need three of those. Um, but since I've already stained this and for the video it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing because everything's all black, I'm going to use a fresh piece of plywood um, just so that you can see it. But in your rocket it should already be stained. Um, so if, if you already haven't popped the pieces out, go ahead and do that now. Um, you'll notice that some of the pieces have internal pieces inside of them. Like this one here is labeled A2, so go ahead and pop that one out. This excess can be discarded. So I would, I would pop out all the little small pieces first, so you have those. And then get rid of the excess. And they should pop out easy, and if they don't want to, um, you can take a hobby knife and just find the little tabs and just snap them off. Uh, but I made the tabs pretty small in the laser cut so that they do pop out easy. Um, try to keep the legs separate um, so that you don't, you know, lose any parts. So I'm doing one leg at a time and I suggest that you do the same. But if you get already got things out, well, then just use the, uh, the parts numbers so that you can make sure you get everything together. Okay, there's nothing left in that. And pop out the little pieces. Okay, I'm going to refer to my sheet so that I remember which part numbers go to where. Um, all the ones that are labeled B, that start with the letter B, um, like these two right here and this, these are all B. That's uh, B2 and B3. So there's two B2s and one B3. Take those and set those aside. Those do not go into the leg. That's the little latch, actually. Um, so for the leg, we want um, A1 which is the big legs. We got two of those. A2, A3, A4, A5, A6, and A7. So these are the pieces that we're going to need for the leg. And we're going to use wood glue in, in assembling these. And where's my wood glue? I'm just using uh, just regular wood glue. And you can use tight bond or Elmer's. It doesn't matter. It all works pretty good. Um, the, the problem with this tip is it doesn't give me a lot of control of where the glue is going to go. So I found this little um, applicator um, and it's a, a bellows type wood applicator. It's got a, um, a long tip on it and it gives me a little bit finer control and, and to, to apply the glue I just squeeze it and it'll come out the tip. Um, I found this at a woodcraft store um, and, it, and it cost like three bucks. Um, for this application, it, it comes in really handy. So I'm going to start with uh, piece A3. And this is going to go into this slot here towards the round end. And you'll, you can test fit everything. So that's going to go there. A2, it goes on the tip end right here. And you can see it has a longer piece and a short end. Um, and the longer piece is going to go down towards this rounded edge. A4. A4 has a little little nub of a tip. Um, and that's for the glue or the, the rubber band that actuates the uh, the blade that pops out. Let me show you what that one is. Every time I take this thing open, it pops out. So this piece here again is A4. A4 goes right here on the on the uh, 
the edge and, and it allows the rubber band to, to latch on. That's what holds that rubber band on. Okay, so that's A4. It's going to go right there, and it, and the little the little tip part goes towards the long end of the of the leg. It's going to go just like that. Right now, it doesn't want to stay in there, so we'll glue that later. Okay, A5. No, this is A6. A5 and A6 look alike, um, but I made the tabs uh, different lengths so that you can tell which one goes where on the rocket. So A. Six goes right here. A5 will go on the other side. Let's do that in the way. Come on. And I wanted these nice and tight because the tighter they are, the stronger things are. Okay. Okay, so that is how they're going to be arranged on the, the leg. So now I can start pulling them off one at a time. And what you want to look at is where the parts touch each other, because that's where we want to put the glue. So I want the glue on, the, on this top surface, and then along here, and then on the inside edges of the tabs. And, and if you're doing it on this side, um, it'll go here, here, and then on the inside edges, and then on the, the edge right here, and the edge right there. So it doesn't matter where, which, which piece you put the glue on. If I could put the glue on this one, or I could put the glue here. Um, I'm just going to do it here. So I got it on that, and then on the inside edge, that top surface. like that. Uh, you see it is labeled. Um, you can put the label on the inside or the outside. Uh, putting it on the outside has kind of a cool look to it, but if you want to hide the uh, lettering, you can put it on the inside. So stick it in there and then wipe off any excess glue on the outside. We're going to sand that off later, but it's a little easier um, to take it off now. And I'm going to do a three. So just remember to look where it's going to where the where they touch each other. And you'll notice a three. It hangs over the edge just a little bit. That's okay. Once the glue is dry, we're going to sand that off. Um, but there is something that you have to be aware of, and that's why you have these glue sticks. Um, towards the round end, um, this is where it's going to touch the fin. And so we don't want any fillets of glue on that edge right here. So I'm just going to take my glue stick and just wipe that off just like that. Um, that one is, is pretty critical that you don't have any glue there, no glue fillets on that edge on, on this side. Now on this side it's fine and I'll just leave it. And it's the same on this one on the, on the tip. And this is A2. After I glue it, I'm going to pull off some of the glue. And on this one, I want to do it on both the inside out edge and the outside edge. So I'm going to wipe off excess glue there and on the inside and then come back with uh, my glue stick and then pull it off again. Pre uh, and the inside edge is even more critical than the outside edge. So now I'll do A4 and on A4 See the little tab right here? I want to put glue on this side only. No glue out towards the long end of the, of the fin. So glue on this side only. And then glue inside the, inside the notch. I'm smearing it around. 
and then I want to push it in. And you can see it's, it's a little wiggly. It wants to wiggle back and forth. Um, kind of press your finger on the outside because we want to leave a little bit of a gap right through here. This is for the rubber band. The rubber band has to get in there. So make sure that that gap exists once you glue them together. Okay, so try not to touch that one because if you knock it, then you have to just kind of straighten it out later. Okay, and then I'm going to do a five. This one is takes a little bit more glue. So I'm doing all the tops of the tabs. And then on the inside edge. And don't forget the little corners. Okay, and then my last one, this one here, this one's really tight. So all the pieces are there. So now we want to glue the other side onto the leg. Now we want to do this uh, before all this glue has a chance to really dry um, because if, if, if things need to be adjusted, you know, if the glue is already dry, you're not going to be able to adjust it. So go ahead and do this quick. Just put more glue on it. See, I'm going to put glue here those tabs. Okay, and just lay it flat on the surface. I'm starting here at this end and just kind of pushing things together. And this one right here is the one that I have to be most concerned about. Just kind of wiggling things back and forth so they snap together. Okay. Very nice. Okay, so now I'm going to wipe off all the glue on the X, on the surface. Okay, and then I want to take my, my glue stick. Remember, I don't want any glue on towards this end of the, uh, on, on, on that piece, whatever piece that was, that was A3. 
this piece that goes diagonally. So I'm going to take my glue stick and I'll run it through there. Make sure that I take off any glue that's oozing out. And I want to do the same thing on this piece on this end. Run that glue stick through there. Take off any glue. Those are the most critical pieces. Okay, just like that. So now we're going to let that dry. Uh, kind of squeeze everything, make sure it all stays together. And you can come back and if you if you notice any gaps anywhere, you can come back and fill them with some glue. Um, you know, because any any and then we'll sand this later. Um, so go ahead and do the other legs and then we'll go ahead and, and do the pockets in the next video.